traveling back in time. It's the 1800s, and Karl Marx is writing the Communist Manifesto. This is what the ratio between labor workers and knowledge workers looks at the time. We have many labor workers and very few knowledge workers. Fast forward to the 2000s, the situation has changed. Of course, we still have a bunch of labor workers, but we have way more knowledge workers today. And what knowledge workers basically do is consume and produce knowledge. This fact makes one of the greatest challenges of modern enterprise, knowledge management. Uh, basically, it makes the difference between weak, mediocre, and uh, strong company, let's say so. RHB is a product I launched uh, in uh, late June, and it basically helps our customers. We've been growing 110% month over month since then. And it, basically helps our customers manage their knowledge. If you look here to the left, we have our customers which employ lots of knowledge workers. Uh, they produce knowledge, that knowledge goes into our system. The same knowledge goes back into their enterprise and makes it more efficient. Same knowledge can onboard and train new workers or knowledge workers. And optionally, the same knowledge can educate the customers on the product or on the service they're offering. This also creates a very strong feedback loop, and in the end, both companies win. Now, this is what the product does today, and this is the, the vision for what it, it will be and what it will do in the future. Basically, now, RHP is Notion. It's, it's a knowledge management software. In the future, we will add a layer of uh, real-time team communication to it because we feel these two products belong in the same uh, in the same product. We're basically bundling the two. Uh, basically, it's a, an all-in-one workspace for small companies. And. It, there's a big discussion on why we're, tar we're targeting uh, small companies. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, but you can ask me a question if you'd like. Uh, bundling is a great way for companies, if they are big, cement their positioning, and at the same time, it's a, it's a great opportunity for startups to gain ground on them. To build this vision, we're raising a seed round and if you want to be part of a company that's playing at the highest technological level and for a big uh, untapped market, uh, please talk to me. I'm Dragos. You can find me at Dioni Dragos on Twitter. Uh, I've attached here a, a link to an executive summary where you can find more details about the project and the company. And that's definitely, it. Thank we you. have the next five minutes of Q&A from the jury members. Thank you, Dragos. Thank you. Can you speak louder and add the mic? Sorry for the inconvenience with the mic. Well, we can't hear you. So, in software yeah. development, the language of implementation is a big challenge. But also, maintaining it with the code. So, you use something sort of, I don't know, automatic updates or something like this? Sure. Uh, so, the, the platform started out of my own issue. I'm a software developer, and when I was a consultant, I saw many companies in Germany with zero or very few documentation on the on their companies. Uh, this prompted me to build a solution for engineers, actually. Uh, and uh, realizing the first months that it's very hard to sell to those, we've pivoted to something uh, more abstract to any company that's maybe small and reachable by us. Uh, and what you're seeing there is we're having a bunch of great feature for engineers from when we were targeting the software engineers for doc for documentation, uh, but of course it's still it's still part of our DNA because uh, let's say so every every company nowadays has a big component on the software development side, either 
it doesn't actually matter what industry it comes from. Very few companies actually do outsourcing, so most of them, if they respect themselves, they're going to bring it in-house most of the time. I hope that answers the question. How are you connecting? How are you connecting all the knowledge from other platforms, and how do you present it to the user? Sure. So we, we we don't actually integrate with uh, other platforms for uh, knowledge collection purposes. Uh, the data gets collected by user input into our platform. It's basically a workspace where people write stuff. So it's yet another tool where I have to write documentation, right? Hopefully you can you can enjoy it in this tool. <laughs> okay, thank you. business model like? Sure, we're, we're a subscription-based software. We have a free plan uh, that is supposed to bring growth to our company. That's uh, uh, taking them to the growth plan that's uh, three per user and starting at $15 a month. And after that, uh, three per user, like I said. And we have a scaling plan that starts at 50 per uh, company and 50 five for each additional user. So we're basically a SaaS with a subscription revenue. Yeah, I, I thought I saw on the customer side that you're actually targeting individuals, that maybe individuals within the company, right? Like the we, software developers yeah. We don't actually target individuals. It might be a good growth plan in the future because we saw one of our competitors uh, doing that successfully. Notion actually uh, is doing both, is doing B2C and B2B at the same time. But right now, we, we are not targeting individuals. And how is your team like? Sorry? Uh, are you like a solo founder or do you have other? Sure, I'm a solo founder, solo technical founder actually. Uh, it's only me at this point. I've had contractors in the past for designing QA and other outsourceable stuff. Uh, right now, I just cut everything off to have a good runway to increase the odds of this company succeeding. So yeah, it's just me. One last question, please. Uh, okay, please, sorry, because I asked earlier, yeah. Okay, it, it seems like for, for a company I, I work for, which is also a software company, it might be an interesting solution. But you're trying to catch everything into one, and I'm not sure that the final solution will be great in, in any part. So my really real advice to you right now is uh, be very careful when you're trying to put everything into the solution, because it can't be everything. And then probably you'd want to look at a different market than what you initially started with. Sure, thank you for the advice. Uh, of course, I, I, if, if I'm correct, you are from the banking sector, right? A knowledge. A knowledge-based uh, sector. But right, we, we are actually working with uh, another big bank in Romania and trying to get off our on-premise uh, implementation. How our does first work? How Sorry? Does it, how does it work? I'm not sure what the question is. Is it going well? Yeah, it's going. You never know with enterprise. You never know with enterprise. It could take one year from now, or it could finalize in three months. But it means you can die. No, we, we are not relying on them to survive. Yeah.